Hey guys, Ogre right here, back for another in-depth character analysis. This time we are going to look at Assault Warsuit Lex Luthor. He brings quite a bit to the team, I think, and I'm really big on him right now. Uh, his gear set makes him a mixed tank, so he ends up at max gaining 47 speed. So don't let that 62 fool you, he ends up with a 109 gear 11. I have McGear 9 and L3. L3, I think, is his sweet spot, so. So his basic attack, cut above. Damage to a single enemy. 60% damage if Lex is above 50% health. The damage goes up, and the extra damage goes up by another 30%, so 90% additional damage if he's above 50% health. Not terrible. He doesn't do great damage otherwise, so. Uh, and then a 50% chance uh, to crit if he's above 50% health. This helps his low damage a little bit. It's not a not a high level upgrade, I think. I think it's probably the L4 that you would want if you take him to L4. And then we have Man of the Hour. He gains a bunch of shield and stamina ups. And then his legendary for this is gain damage immunity if he's above 50% health. Now, the cool thing about the legendary is that if the stamina ups bring him to above 50% health, he actually will gain the damage immunity even if he's not above 50% health when he uses the move. And he gains up to... I forget how many. I believe it's four or five stamina ups. So definitely worthwhile upgrade. Probably your first or second upgrade. And then we have anti-alien strike. Special damage to enemy. Purge five buffs and apply three strength downs. Goes up to four strength downs, as you can see. And then the legendary for this is 100% hit chance and purge three additional buffs. So it brings it up to eight buffs purged, and then applies four strength downs, which is quite a bit, I think, and it's definitely worth your uh, first or second legendary point, depending on if you want this or Man of the Hour first. Uh, those are the two that you want first. And then we have nuclear option, special damage to all, en all enemies, purge seven debuffs from Lex, and it starts on a five turn cooldown, and it has a fairly long cooldown to begin with anyway. But it starts on cooldown, so you're not going to use this very much, and it doesn't do a ton of damage. Even fully upgraded, it's just, it doesn't do enough damage. You're not going to be using it very often, that's for sure. And the legendary for this is damage plus 100% if Lex is at full health. And again, not a very useful upgrade. This is definitely a save for last upgrade, but with Man of the Hour being able to get damage immunity, uh, you can get to turn 5 sometimes with, with full health. So it's not impossible. And then his later ability. Apply up to, I think, four affinity ups and up to 16% turn meter to other allies that buff Lex. And the legendary for this is apply 8% shield to other allies that buff Lex. So gaining 8% shields, 16% turn meter, and four affinity ups to raise their damage against targets that they are strong against is pretty handy. That extra shield and turn meter is really all it's there for. The affinity ups are kind of eh. So, let's go ahead and take a look at some team comps real quick. we got Lex as our leader, because he's a pretty good leader. And he likes characters that can buff him. Which means that he's going to have characters that can buff either him, or which other was targeted, or that can buff everybody. So, I built this team to just completely abuse that. And, you know, it also, every single one of them applies shields as well. So we got Penguin applying shields and affinity resistance. We got Jessica Cruz applying shields and affinity resistance. And we have Dr. Fate applying shields, hit chance ups, and then potentially also intelligence ups to uh, help out Lex with his special damage and Jessica with her special damage. So I think it's a nice, solid, beefy team. Lots and lots of shields and obnoxiously tanky team all the way around. So hard to get through this for your opponent. It will not be doing a ton of damage. Just as a disclaimer. If you do build this team, it isn't going to deal damage. It's just not going to take damage either, so just, just be aware of that. Alright, next team I got is Lex, Poison Ivy, Medfill, and Mara. And this is team, we're not going to take any damage, because we all have damage immunity. Um, so Lex, with his Man of the Hour legendary leadership, is, or legendary ability, is going to have uh, damage immunity most of the time. And then you have Medfill who could grant damage immunity to a target, and that upgrade for that can also make it last two turns. 
Lex is also last two turns. And then you have Mera with her upgrade on her heal that will grant damage immunity as well. And then you have Poison Ivy to pass around taunts to people or, um, you know, pass the damage immunity around. And Medfil can taunt up if need be. And then Mera can grant him damage immunity. However you want to do it, your team's not going to be taking much damage. And they'll, just, they'll get there eventually just because they can't die. That's the idea. And the last one I have for you, it's kind of more of a straightforward build. Uh, Lex, World's Greatest Detective Batman, Wonder Woman, Champion of the Amazons, and Steppenwolf. And the idea here is that, again, they all buff Lex and they all buff each other. And then Batman and Lex can purge off buffs on the opponents. Wonder Woman can counterattack and AoE. Steppenwolf can AoE and anti-evasion and just all around... Nice solid build. You got some good damage dealers. Got some good tankiness with Lex and Steppenwolf. Uh, good solid team all around. So that's all I got for you. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. As always, enjoy and grind on.